Time to turn to sports now. KSHB 41, as you know, is your home of the Chiefs. And this Red Friday, we're taking you back in time to meet Kansas City's first family of groundskeeping. All seven of the Bruce brothers, they worked on the grounds crew for the Chiefs, the Royals, or both. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan was part of a reunion for the crew. The first Bruce brothers started working at the old Municipal Stadium, which was here in 1962. They followed legendary groundskeeper George Toma to this Truman Sports Complex. Other teens from this neighborhood, like Melvin Duncan and Nelson Thomas, were also part of the grounds crew. Here are their words. It's a lot of memories here. Wilford is the oldest. He used to climb up that scoreboard and put the schedules up. During the, the longest game in NFL history, Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins, I was sitting on the east goal line, on the goal line, watching that game. The security guard would call and say, scramble. Scramble means you got to scramble down here to the ballpark and get the field cut because the rain's coming. George Toma is a mentor to all of us. He brought us together. He recognized us, and uh, uh, he knew that we were part of the team. The big team. Some of the things he taught us still stays with me. He's the youngest <laughs> of the Bruce family, yeah. and he was my chemist at the Super Bowl. One thing you can carry on in life that you can build on is pride, because to me it's everything. You know, some of the ballplayers' houses to cut grass, stuff oh, like that. Yeah. After I left there, I basically started my online service which I still have today. Remember of going to the game and looking at those guys down the field thinking, I'm going to do that one day. So 85 was my year. If it wasn't for these people and their parents, there'd be no George Toma today. Nelson Thomas has plans to create a foundation in Toma's name to teach young people about the ins and outs of lawn care and help them launch their own businesses. In Kansas City, I'm Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News.